What if the thing that scares you the most is the very thing that can lead you to greatness? I have been on a solo travel journey for the past month in Spain. And when I tell you I was terrified of coming, not because it was my first time traveling solo, but so many other things, so many other fears or questions that popped into my mind about traveling solo at this juncture in my life. And I almost didn't come. And had I not come, I would not have been able to share three videos so far in this series about fun things to do, see, and experience in the Spanish Riviera. But I also want to learn some very important things about myself that have helped me rebuild my confidence. But before we get into that, let's get into this. Tired of the ordinary? Want to add a little spice to your next vacation holiday? If you're craving endless sunshine, stunning beaches, and hidden gems, look no further. We are jetting off to the Balearic paradise of Mallorca, or Majorca, as the locals call it. This is a place for some nice party hotspots, sweeping historic buildings, serene retreats. This Mediterranean island literally has it all. You may be familiar with its sister, Ibiza, but let me tell you, Mallorca definitely definitely demands some attention and respect. So get ready to explore some hidden coves, taste some delicious tapas, and soak up the ultimate island vibe in this travel vlog. Thanks for returning. If you're new here, this is part four in a series on fun places to be and see in the Spanish Riviera. This vlog will take you through Old Town Palma, Mallorca City Center, and some of the top attractions in the area. So join me as I explore my new home, I mean, your new favorite travel destination. If you enjoy these types of travel vlogs, do not forget to hit that subscribe button and like this video so that you too can share this with more travel days and we can become a travel family. off period and now it's back to the streets for dinner it is the euro cup and spain and the uk are competing so <laughs> i'm trying to make sure that i get to a restaurant before it gets too crowded and i'm out of luck when it comes to santa so the look is um i have this basic black top. I actually have like five of these, literally one for every day of the week. When I find something I like, I just buy multiple and I like the way it fits. It's seamless. If I choose not to wear a bra, it's still fine. So I like that about it. And I'm just wearing some black shorts and my cream bag and some cream loafers. So this is a look for dinner and let's see what we could find.
Good morning. This is day two in Mallorca. Today I'm going to Selye. It is a region in the northwest part of uh, Mallorca. Right now I'm in Palma, the city center of Mallorca. So it's about an hour. I'm excited because it's supposed to be very beautiful and it feels like you're transported back into the beginning of the 20th century. Like even the trams are still like old and have that nice antique feel. So it's supposed to be really beautiful, great place to get like cafe, postres, vibes. Um, and there is a beach nearby. So we will see um, the look for today. I, think I already told y'all about me having to go to Zara, but I had to go to Zara because got to keep the melanin protected. Got to protect the skin. I got um, a little bit of a sunburn skin rash situation from my hike to the top of Castillo de Santa Barbara. If you have not already caught up on that vlog, it was a fun one and you can see in here. But yeah, let's go get started with our day. Okay, so I just had breakfast. I now am on my way to Soye. I think I talked to you all about it early this morning. And my bus should arrive in one minute. Let's see how on time they are. I wonder if I should have took a taxi instead. This is what I get for being so adventurous. I wish I brought my headphones. What am I supposed to do if this bus doesn't come on time? Sit with my thoughts? Hmm. So the bus actually did come on time, which was a pleasant surprise. If you want to catch a bus in Palma, you don't have to go to a station to buy a ticket. You just hop on the bus and they have the machine where you can either tap to pay or you can pay in cash, which is two euro. But be warned, definitely still carry some cash on you because even though my bus driver had the card reader, he said he could only take cash. Overall, taking the bus in the city was easy. I pulled up the route on Google Maps. Google Maps was up to date with the bus schedule and all I had to do was walk to the stop, which was close to my hotel. Unless you're like me and you decide to look down at your phone and miss your train stop. So one of the things that I wanted to come and just share is, especially when you're traveling internationally, you need to be flexible because <laughs> I've been to over 100 cities on five continents and nothing has ever gone exactly as planned. So you need to be flexible, you need to give yourself grace and time, especially if you miss buses or trains or whatever. Um, so I'm about to hop. Right now I'm walking to my bus stop since I missed my stop. Just about a five minute walk, but you gotta be prepared. And I'm so glad I changed my shoes. I had on these cute loafers and I changed into walking shoes. So glad I did that. The good thing about missing my stop was it gave me some time to get some water and some more cash out of the ATM because the part of Mallorca I was going to was an hour outside of the city. And I read that there are places that do not take cards. I wanted to quickly come and tell y'all the journey in a taxi would have been 80 euro to get here. I paid four euro and I took two buses, both direct routes um pretty straightforward process so if you like to spend your money on experiences and you don't mind taking metro it's pretty reliable here One thing to note, when you get to the tram station, you may be tempted to go to this little train car that's in the middle of the circle. It's not in service. I think it's just there for decoration at this point. In order to pay for your fare on the tram, you just pay once you're on board. They once you're in the city, there are multiple ways to get around. If you drove a car there, just know there's limited parking. You can also take the train from Palma to Solier and that gets you there in less than an hour, about 45 minutes. Once you're in the city, if you want to have a super unique and fun experience, you could take the tram, which is what I'm about to show you. It costs about nine euro to ride. It literally is the same type of train system that was in place in the early 1900s. So you feel like you're transported back in time. You drive through the country or you ride through the countryside a bit to get to the port of Soyer. If you are like me and you took a bit longer commute, the train station does have public restrooms. You could also go ahead and pre-buy a ticket if you choose to take a train to the city if you did not drive. 
you can also take the bus back. They run every hour on the hour. So I just made it. It is gorgeous. Definitely worth the trip. Um, it's also very hot. And I had my cap, my Nike one, which y'all have seen, but I didn't pack any other bags. So I decided to get some sun protectant and like legit. This is so cute. This is so me. I love a good bucket hat. So I got a bucket hat. And I used to put all the kids um, and stuff in it. I saw them on the way. I got a bucket hat and I got this cute bag to carry all my stuff. So I look a little less like a tourist, hopefully. Now I want to find some lunch, but somewhere where there's plenty of shade. A lot of these places have tables like directly in the sun. bought my Canon G7X with me and I was able to take some really cute photos with it. I love how it powers on easily. It's compact and I'll show you the photos that I was able to take with it.
Okay, so lunch was a success. Um, I'm so glad I came to Soye. I definitely recommend coming here. It's worth the journey, whether you go by taxi, train, bus, tram, whatever your preferred mode, just get here. <laughs> Please get here. I'm going to show you my view. Like, how incredible. And then once you get here, there are shops, there are restaurants, there are all the things that you need to have a good time. I bought this hat because, baby, it is the middle of July and it is hot. It's like Atlanta hot right now. And I needed to protect the top of my head. I also just, I, just, <laughs> I needed to protect the skin. Like, as you see, I have on long sleeves, um, complete linen outfit so I could stay cool because when the direct sun is hitting your skin, boy, it will fry you no matter what color, shade, classification you want to go by, okay? Um, so yeah, so now we're about to make the journey back to Palma. Uh, there's some things that I want to see and do there, so I'll see you there. Well, I made it back to Palma from Soye, and I decided to take the bus back because I already took the tram. The tram is really cute. It's really historic, but it's also very slow, and I wanted to get back to the hotel, mainly to pee. Um, <coughs> so I'm on the bus, and it was hot, and it was crowded. And so I realized when I got to the stop before my next stop that, okay, I'm close enough to get off. I don't know if the air conditioning was working on this bus. It felt like when the air conditioning was out on a train in New York, like it was not fun. Um, so I decided to get off and walk. And it's funny because not only is the breeze blowing, it feels so much cooler walking, but it reminds me of my grandma. So my grandma used to love to walk. We used to walk a lot when I was spending summers with her in Charleston. And I don't know, like the older I get when I am in those full circle moments, when I see myself or recognize that I'm doing something that my parents or my grandparents do, it kind of just makes me feel closer to them. And in this moment, I feel really close to my grandma. And, um, I'm grateful for everything that she showed me and taught me and I'm just enjoying my walk on this summer day in July in Spain. I did a quick change, got some dinner in Palma and then decided to do more sightseeing. This should be no surprise to anyone that's been following along in this series, but I had to see less so or the cathedral in Mallorca. It was impressive, immaculate, and beautiful beyond words. And as soon as I got there, the air was just filled with magic. There was a young street performer, and I'm just gonna let y'all hear some of the vibes that were going on in the area. <laughs> To think that I almost didn't come and would have missed out on so many beautiful experiences because I was scared of doing something that I've already done multiple times in my life, but it'd been so long that I forgot. I forgot that I have the ability to travel the world by myself and be okay. If you are watching this and you're wanting to take a trip, you're wanting to do an experience, you're wanting to do something and you're worried about doing it alone, just do it. Just do it because 
the practice of doing it makes you more confident and comfortable to go out into the world and be able to just live freely, even if no one is available to join you. Three, three in Mallorca, having the time of my life, literally having the time of my life. Um, high notes, people mind their business extra hard here. Like no one bothers me. <laughs> I'm able to be at peace in paradise without any issues or incidents. I just finished walking the main strip where the beach and the marina are. Gorgeous, felt a nice sea breeze. I, I'm just so glad that I accepted the opportunity to come out here because I can see myself living out here. And I know, I know people say this anytime they go out of the country, but I can really see myself living here. Like really, 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 really. If you start seeing all my posts, being on the Spanish Riviera, just know I made my escape and I found my new home. And just be happy for me. Just be happy for me. Cause I'm happy for you. Like I've even gotten to the point where I don't need GPS to get back to where I'm going. I memorize my little corner of the city whenever I see my church. Um, Cause there are lots of churches, but whenever I see my church, I know I'm almost home. Having the time of my life, literally having the time of my life. Like, I can't believe how long I've been on this earth and not known that this place existed. Like, it is the perfect vacation. You get beach, you get culture, you get food, you get sun, you get stunning Gothic architecture. You get relaxation, you get peace. Like... It is the middle of July and I'm feeling the breeze just flowing across my skin and through my hair. And I just feel so good. It feels like anything could happen um, in a good way. Like magic is real. I just, if you made it to this part in the vlog, if you made it to this part in the vlog, thank you. Hopefully you've already subscribed. If not, this is a perfect time too because I share the vibes and I share it from vetted places. You will not see anything on this channel that is not worth seeing um, because there's plenty of fluff out there. There's plenty of glitter dressed up to seem like gold, but here I'm giving you the real and um, inspo to live your best travel life. So join the fam.